Hello and welcome back. Now, this uh, lesson is the continuation of the previous lesson. In the previous lesson, we were discussing uh, the category dot PHP, and we made a custom, not the custom page template, but actually we have modified the category dot PHP to show us these uh, services category posts in a proper way and we will just make some modification to the category dot php now we are going to create a page for this taxonomy as i told you uh, these taxonomy the, we have three taxonomies we have three categories of the team custom post type uh, and we can actually see if we click on view we have to see these uh, posts of this text on me in a page now to do that we actually have to do one thing we will for example we'll start with uh, category.php now because the nature of the taxonomy and the category is almost similar so we will start with the category.php we will make a copy of this category.php on which is available in, in our theme so we will make a copy and then paste again and we will name it taxonomy.php but the name will not be taxonomy.php the name will be slightly bigger now what the name will be it will be we will have to see we will come to the uh, dashboard and we will see what's the taxonomy of this uh, thing if I click if I come here and see the edit I can see here at this place I will see that I am getting taxonomy team underscore cat so the name of the taxonomy is team underscore cat at the same point we can actually text text this taxonomy what would be the taxonomy of this thing sorry I am, I, okay now taxonomy is not given here sorry i have to go to category and here we will see the taxonomy is category so the taxonomy of the default category that comes with wordpress is category but the taxonomies that we make have their own names and these names are actually given during the making of these uh, custom taxonomies and if we refer to the last lessons that or in which we have made this taxonomy we have given the taxonomy name as well here now this was this was the taxonomy name in functions.php while we were creating this taxonomy we have give, given this name term cat but if you haven't made a taxonomy yourself and you want to check the name of that taxonomy so you'll come to that taxonomy page hover over the edit and in this area you will see the name of that taxonomy so the name is team underscore cat <coughs> now we'll come here and we'll i i have given it name taxonomy i can complete it in its name and its name will be taxonomy dash team underscore cat now this is the page that is created for this taxonomy team underscore cat now if we go to the front end and refresh this thing again and we will find nothing this is the tricky thing that you need to remember always always that as you will make a page for the taxonomy that will never work at its first attempt now what you will have to do is you have to do this these are the standard steps that you have to perform every time you are going to make a taxonomy page you have to go to settings and permalink and from here you will have to actually you will set the link type to post name now slightly the links nature will change slightly i will tell you that but now 
I have changed it to post name and save the changes and if I come to this thing again and refresh again now my taxonomy page has started working okay now one thing that it must show that the posts of that thing but it is not showing I have to find out why it's not showing the posts of that Actually, as we changed, uh, actually as we changed uh, uh, this permalink structure from here, the the, uh, the structure of the links is slightly changed. That's why the old page was not working. Now, for example, you have made a, a taxonomy page for a taxonomy, and you are already at this point where the it is positioned at post name. Now, what you have to do now to now what you can do is you can actually remove the last slash from here and save it and in that way your taxonomy page will start working again or if you are at this position you can actually come here and write down that slash and save it again and it will make your taxonomy page start working again one thing that is missing here is that uh, these ones are not showing any images because these posts unfortunately don't have any images in them so I can come here and I will click on all team and because we are watching the design so I'll just quickly assign them uh, an image for example come here I will click on feature image I will select one of the image from here and save it and now we can see the taxonomy page has been made and the image is showing so we can assign images to all these posts and these all these images will start showing okay at this point we will actually slightly discuss the details of the category dot php as as well let me get the resources for that and then we'll then, then we'll start discussing okay here is the resource link of the uh, category template and i am giving you this uh, link in the uh, the video description now we'll see i have opened this page and you can see that uh, there are some additional information given on this page for example you can make a category page for a separate slug or you can make a category page for based on a spe specific id or we have a category page as it is we have already also have an archive page and index page these two pages also handle the categories to some extent but mainly the pages which are handling the page which, which, are, which is handling the category is the category.php and also we just check this thing as well now for example we have uh, three categories as we can see in this example we have uh, some categories here now we have we have three categories one for blog one for mm, news and one for services now for example if we want to have if we want to format the template for category we will just simply format the contact uh, the category.php file but if we want to give this blog category a slightly different layout then we can actually make a separate page for this blog category now to make a separate page for this blog category we will actually see as we have seen in this resource we have two ways of making a separate page for an independent or a separate category one is by using the slug of that category the second is by using the id of that category so we'll go with slug first what is the slug of this category the, the slug is the slug is shown here sorry the slug is shown here the slug is blog so we'll go with blog what we will do is we we'll come to our theme we'll copy this category page copy and paste and we will give the slug dash blog we will not write dash slug we will write dash blog and one more thing that we need to keep in mind is I think that this page will not immediately start working we have to go through the process of this permalink that we have done earlier 
setting bar 1x we have to do that process again and then that page will start working but let me just open this page and just slightly change this page so that we can recognize that this is our different template for this page so i am going to write the word blog blog custom template now for this uh, blog category we will see a different page and for these two we will see a generic page that we that we had made earlier now i'm going to save it it is already saved now i'm going for uh, the view of this thing so that we can compare both the views as you can see the view of this thing is uh, almost similar to the last and there is nothing in this uh, title now we'll go for this one and see the page came no there is no need to to go through that uh, uh, permanent procedure now this is a separate category template for blog and we have used this uh, slug to create this custom template for a custom category now we can use the category id to make a custom template for example here for news and uh, events we will use the id of this uh, category to make a custom page template for or custom template for this category not the page template page templates are different so these are category templates so we can make a different category template for this one now if we can see closely we will see the id of this category here at this position now you can see the id is 7 now we are going to make the page for id 7 we'll come here we'll copy copy and paste we'll make it 7 page template is made we will now go for sorry we have to make some changes to to recognize that template now i'm opening it this one and i will change the name to news news template now saving it going for view you can see news template is there now so in that way we can make multiple templates for each category no, no not multiple templates we can make a separate template for each category and each category can have its own different layout in this scenario for example in news and events we may have images here as well as we will assign images for the blog we may not need the images or in the blog page can have two um, two divs here parallel to each other then two again so it, it can have a structure of two by two two columns and one row something like two columns or four rows something like that so we can change the layout slightly for a different categories same thing we can do for the taxonomies as well now for the taxonomies uh, let me come to the taxonomy and then we start doing it let me find the resource actually for the taxonomy and then we will see that resource page and then make the taxonomy templates okay here is our page uh, for WordPress resource page for uh, taxonomy templates. I am copying this link and I will paste it in the description as well. Description of the video so that you can reference to this page. Uh, okay. Now, here we can make a taxonomy page by taxonomy. That is the na natural process that we have done in initially. Uh, now, here we can see that we can make a template. Uh, taxonomy template will give the name of the taxonomy and the term of the taxonomy and that 
page will be linked to that term. Let's do it. Now, for example, we come to the taxonomy here and copy this taxonomy, copy paste, and we will give the term of that taxonomy here. It will be D E S I G N. Let me see what's the term. Uh, second. It's not saying slug, it's saying term. So we need to actually. Let's try with slug, then we'll see what's missing. So the slug is in design, and we have already pasted this thing. Now we are going to edit this. It is changed and let's cancel. Let's try it now. Design with design with terms. Okay, now we have given the, the term with the name and it has actually with term is given here. The file name is taxonomy team. Team cat is a taxonomy and this is the uh, slug or you can say the term of that taxonomy next thing is as we come to the resource page again we can see that we have we had already made the page for with the taxonomy name we can make the tag pages tags will come later in the lesson so we will discuss the tags then we have tried this uh, category page with slug and we have tried this category page with id so Here is some more description of these things that we have already tried. So this is the resource page for the uh, for that uh, taxonomy templates. And you can consult that if you face any issue. But I think uh, today's topic is very clear now. And uh, thanks for watching. If you like the content of the page, please click on press like button. And if you want to subscribe please feel free to subscribe and uh, thank you so much bye for now